Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. What's going on? What the Sam hell are you doing all over here? Or um, where, what are where you are doing? Yeah, what are, are you we? doing? Well, we're currently at the Fox River in Green Bay, Wisconsin. John made the full send over. I know he was saying in his last video that he was going to find some open water. And if John, if you turn around, that's open water. He That'd found some it. Open water, son. He found it. And uh, judging on how many boats are out here, other people have found open water. And uh, we're gonna be dangling down here, trying to find some walleyes. We were down here last week, caught a few. Obviously, other people are catching them. So, John made the send, and he is—he's uh, here to ready to catch some walleyes. Wow, I don't even knew to do a freaking intro. Nick just absolutely killed it. But guys, before we start the video, if you could just pause the video for a second and click that like button. I wanna try something. I see a lot of people saying, oh, however many likes you get, it means more views and all this stuff. It's good for the algorithm. So I want you guys, the Mindac family, to drop a like for this video before this video even starts, just to get it rolling. Let's see if we can get like, I don't know, a thousand likes in 24 hours. Just that's a low goal, but I think we can do it. You guys got me, fam. Anyways, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another one. Yes, I made the full send from Fargo, North Dakota, all the way to Green Bay, Wisconsin, on the Fox River. And I'm with my best friend. Where'd he go? Where is he? Nick Goslin from NB Edits. You guys may know him. They have a YouTube channel. We do a lot of filming together. Nick was actually up in Fargo with me. Him and Brandon both have a channel, which will be linked down below for you guys to go and check out. Hope the wind's not too bad. I'm sorry. But yeah, if you take a look over here, we got our kayaks, guys. Look at this. This is my Old Town Autopilot 120. I got my little Minn Kota motor right there. I got everything ready to go. Nick's got his little setup right here. And yeah, we're gonna be doing some walleye fishing today. I told you guys I wanna do some open water walleyes and we're like, let's start out with a bang. Let's go Fox River on the yak. So we're gonna see if we can make some magic happen. Haven't fished open water since last year. And uh, as you can tell, I'm pretty gosh darn excited. But before we get started or go any farther in this video, today's video would not be possible without Jackery. You guys see me using my Jackery power banks and solar panels all the time during my camping videos. And they reached out and they wanted to partner up with the video. So huge shout out to them. They are actually launching brand new freaking products, guys. Yes, I'm very excited. I know what they are, but unfortunately I can't tell you guys. It has to be a surprise, but if you guys want to know what the products are going to be they are hosting like a live stream or they're dropping kind of like a video conference thing on march 17th at 6 p.m pdt i'm not sure if that means like pacific time or something like that i don't know i'm just going to pop up a bunch of like text right here so you guys can get all the correct information but definitely make sure to go check out jackery and make sure to go to the conference on the 17th of march to see what new products they're gonna come out with i'm i honestly am excited for them i'm so pumped and uh, I can't wait to show you guys what they're having. But yeah, make sure to go check them out. And uh, Nick and I, we're gonna start fishing here. I'm gonna get this guy in the water and start my 2021 open water season. Let's get it. Let's see how this goes. Nick, you ready? All right. Oh my God, this is so heavy. Should you get in? Should you get in and I push you out? Is that a good idea? I don't think that's a good idea either. Oh, that was... A lot easier than I thought it was going to be, dude. <laughs> Here, I can hold it while you get in and stuff. All right, we got Nick in the water. You're killing it, buddy. Time to see if this... I don't even know if my kayak works, honestly. I haven't used it in uh, quite some time. This is going to be interesting to see. I'm kind of nervous, actually. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh, we don't fall in, boys. Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. Oh yeah, I heard the beep go. That's lit. Get my little remote out. Let's turn this on. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> let's go, baby. I still got it, boys. Oh yeah, we're going. It's kind of windy, sorry about the wind. Hey Nick, how's it going? Well, I know it's really windy, but I got this working somehow. It's been forever. And uh, Nick is absolutely killing it right now. He looks like he's struggling a lot. Uh, if you guys want to check out this kayak, it'll be a link down below. I love it. It's so dope. Oh, 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I currently, I threw this bad boy in uh, anchor mode, as you can see right there. I clicked this button, it's holding me in one spot. And I'm honestly really curious to see how this trolling motor holds up in this bigger water. This is the first time I've ever brought it out on a river. And I wanna see how good it holds me in one spot, you know, with current. That's, I'm kind of curious about that. So we're gonna stand up here. You know, pretty stable. This is pretty stable. I feel pretty good about it. And uh, if we turn over to my my left, Nick's over there giving a dangle. How's it going, Nick? Yeah, we're in one spot right now. No clue if there's fish here. I'm going to show you guys a setup and start fishing. Oh boy, this has been a long time since I've rigged this song gun up. Well, this is what we're going with today, folks. I just have a jig head, as you guys can see. I got a fat head on there. And uh, this is a 3 8 ounce jig head. We need something a little bit heavier. And we're just going to throw this out there, let it sit on the bottom, jig it. Hopefully get some walleyes, boys. 2021 open water season starting soon. Here we go. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. And there we go. First cast. Out. Oh, he's out there. He's out there. Take them. Oh god boys, first fish of the day, dude. Look at this freaking giant. Oh wait, what? <laughs> what the f boys, got an absolute gem for the first uh catch of the year. Let me see if I can reel this in here. There we go. Come on. What the actual F, dude? This is somebody's like net and there's some freaking like blade baits in this thing. What? There's a blade bait in here. There's a lipless right here. That's so freaking cool. Wow, I'm just kind of speechless. First catch of the day for old Johnny boy though. Oh yeah. One eternity later. Bro, why you be looking so thick in these waders? <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. Oh, how's it going guys? As you could tell, we're not on the Fox River anymore and that is because Nick and I fished out there this morning in the kayaks, as you guys saw, for literally an hour and the wind was so bad, we said, nope. So we left, drove an hour and a half back to where Nick lives and uh, we're gonna try doing some shore fishing. Now this is more in my wheelhouse. Normally I don't do much kayak walleye fishing, but I do a, I do a fair amount of shore fishing. So we got the old waders on, as you guys can see. We got a little walk, we're fishing this other dam and uh, hope we catch some walleyes for you guys. I'm really hoping, like I, I really wanna crack an open water fish at 2021. That is the goal for this video. If it happens, I am gonna be pumped. Eventually. I promise it's any big. Does it, how's it feel? I got 14 probably. Oh, yellow dog too. Ooh. 14 three quarters? Ah, just a little short. Ah, hey, that's a fish though. Proud of you. It's early, we're just happy to get them. Hey, how's it going guys? Little update here. Ran into a few subscribers here. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? My name is Ben. Ben, uh, well, I was up there walking and Ben's like, hey, come fish by me. Come over here. And uh, if you can see right there, Ben's been clapping some walleyes, haven't you? Couple here and there, a lot of shorts yet. But. Perfect, so I'm just gonna spot burn your spot now if that's okay with you. Hey, go I'm gonna sit right here and do exactly what you're doing to catch a fish. I called you over for a reason, didn't I? True. So Ben hooked this up fat with this spot here and we're gonna basically just throw crappie rigs out there. My favorite, this is honestly one of my favorite ways of fishing. You just throw some live bait out there and then you big chill. You just sit on your phone and 
like you know rip on some TikTok or something like that and then reel in an occasional fish and who knows it could be a big fish could be a small fish you never know so i'm gonna show you guys the setup and start fishing all right guys so what you do is you come over here to the bait bucket and you open this bad boy up get some minnows we got some minnows right here then you walk over to your rod that's over here let me bait this up real quick and then i'll show you this is called a crappie rig okay i got a weight down here and then i have a hook up here so there's a weight right here hook up here i have two hooks up here so i could potentially catch two fish we're just gonna take the minnow and put the hook right behind the dorsal just like ice fishing and all the ifish pros that i set you guys seeing all right and then you take your rod here and we're gonna give her a lop out there nick where are you at right now okay how far did you go oh i lost a minnow already so we have a one minnow out there we'll just let it dangle i guess well we're gonna let that just kind of chill out there now then you put your rod right there and you watch your rod tip and once it starts going like this you got a fish and then you reel it in oh god boys i think we got one. Oh god boys first fish of 2021 oh we're on first fish of the year feels like a like a snag no this is a fish right yeah, yeah i gotta tighten my drag here boys dude first open water fish of the year boys it doesn't feel bad honestly nick yeah, no cap. This doesn't feel bad. It's a, it's a keeper, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, flip! Oh. Hey! hey Dad, I caught a fish. Look at that. First open water walleye of the year for Daddy. Oh, my God, guys. Well, should we take the old bump board here? See if this is going to be a catch, clean, cook specimen? 15. 15. Oh, 15. This is a slot here, son. Honestly, we can keep this and eat it. Nick, do you feel like keeping some fish and eating it? I mean, sure. Okay, all right, we're gonna fillet this guy up later and yeah, my first keeper of the day, my first walleye of 2021 open water. Let's get it. I don't know. I never know what's a fish and what's not a fish anymore, guys. We're just gonna give her a go, I guess. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's okay. Yep. Oh, we got one. We're hooked up again. Oh, there's fish number two, boys and girls. Uh, if this feels smaller, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Freaking call me Van Dam. How does it make you feel? Great. Slapping you on your home turf. I missed the fish. So that was cool. Oh, that is cool. All right, there's walleye number two of the day. They're still fun to like, you know, play around with. I love catching fish, and uh, feels good to be catching fish again. Nick, how do you feel about it? I don't know it? what that's like. You don't know what it's like? No, I haven't joined that party yet. Rip. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm on. It actually doesn't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? I, I, wait, why do I have a fish? I'm just kidding. I have a fish? I was literally reeling in to check my line. Dude, she's girthy though. That's kind of like a girthy one. Guys, what the Sam hell? I was literally reeling in to just like make a switch on minnows. And uh, this guy kerplunked her. There we go. Look at that. Another beautiful Wisconsin walleye and under. But, you know, we're catching open water fish, and this is like Nick was just saying, this is the earliest we've ever kind of fished, um, I guess, for open water walleyes. We're having a blast, aren't we, buddy? Yes, now that we're actually catching. Give me some, yeah. Screw the fox, this is way better. <laughs> yeah. Well, while we're sitting here waiting for some uh, fish right here, you know, a lot of you guys always look forward to the spring walleye tip video. And uh, I haven't posted one of that for a while. I have posted a couple in the past, which they've done pretty well. And uh, I believe you guys like them. Nick, is your rod going here? Well, anyways, I don't know. We're just going to give a little uh, a little spring walleye tip fishing tip. Does that even make sense? We're going to give a spring walleye tip right now. Um, just to, you know, help educate you guys and stuff like that. I'll give one and then I'll make Nick, I'll put Nick on the spot and make him give you one. I guess what I'm going to go with is this is, I mean, it goes a little bit different and for different places you go, but normally when, uh, walleyes are spawning in the spring, they like to come up shallow and feed on something like that imitates like a bait fish or something like that. So if I had to give a tip like for a bait, I, my go-to is the Guggen Bait 3.3 Gobi Saucy Swimmer and just like a quarter ounce jig head and basically all that's doing is imitating kind of like a shad or a, just some kind of bait fish that the walleye are pushing up shallow to feed on during the spawn and uh, if you guys are gonna go out and do some fishing you should do something that imitates something like that nick if you had to give one like spring walleye tip to like a noob what would your tip be putting you on the spot 
one tip, eh? Only one, yeah. I would have to say, or re at least for me around this area, is uh, a lot of times in the spring, you're gonna wanna use live bait. I know John was just preaching like saucy swimmer. That's in South Dakota when they're really aggressive. Uh, but like here in northern Wisconsin, I found live bait using simple slow tactics usually like at least early spring is definitely like a go-to You cannot go wrong. But another added bonus tip here Ooh, is, bonus. is if you're not getting them on like something super simple like a jig and a minnow uh, You know something like a blade bait or a rip and wrap or something like that even if they're really not biting uh, we'll get a reaction bite and you can always catch them on that too. So a little look bonus at, look tip. Look at you, look at this. Meanwhile, oh. I'm giving the tips not catching fish. So we love that. Yeah, you need to change that. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, Nick's been having a hard time. He missed a bite and that's pretty much it. I, mean, I haven't been catching any more than he has really. I've caught two, but Nick's really been struggling today. He needs a fish. So stay tuned and uh, you know, wait to see if Nick and I catch more fish. Eventually. All right, partners, we're about to leave. I'm gonna reel this guy in, but we think there may be a fish on here. I don't know. What are the odds, Nick? It looked like there was a fish. And there is. There, there was. What are the odds of that? We were about to leave. I was gonna reel in my rod and I'm like, you know, get the camera. I got a feeling, man. Here we go. Yeet. Oh God, yeah. I did it, Dad. Nick and I have had one hell of a day, to be honest. We started like an hour, two hours away from here in De Pere, and uh, this walleye is biting me right now. It hurts really bad. We started two hours away in De Pere, and uh, as you guys saw, it was absolutely brutal. Decided to come over here blindly and try it. Nick hasn't been here yet this year, and I would say it was a success. Huge shout out to the subscribers for helping us out, catch some of these guys right here, some river walleyes. This guy wants to go back. We'll let him go here. But yeah, I was a success. I honestly wanted to come to Wisconsin because I wanted to escape ice fishing. I told you guys I was done with it. You guys want open water content. And I was like, my man, Nick, Brandon, let's do some fishing over Wisconsin. Cause I know that this is usually one of the areas that opens up first being that there's a lot of rivers here. So came over here and I'm actually gonna be here for nine days starting today. And then I'm coming, I'm going back home for a little bit and then I'm coming back again for six more days. So be expecting a lot of spring walleye videos like today. Um, I'll get more jigging videos and stuff like that as well. And live scope videos and kayak videos and big walleye videos and challenges, like all that good stuff. Camping videos, cooking stuff, maybe sit down and do like a, like a podcast sort of thing with these guys. Like, I don't really know. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what kind of videos do you guys want to see? coming this next few weeks because I, I'm literally here to create content for you guys at home and I wanna know what you guys wanna see. Beans, that ice fishing's done. We can do different stuff. So we're gonna pack up now and uh, head back to the house. I kinda wanna vlog Nick's house real quick because I love his dog. So I'll see you guys at the house. Oh, hey guys. How's it going? Oh, you wanna say hi to the camera, sit? Oh, you guys are so funny. Look at you. This is Oakley. Oakley, you're so cute. And then this, oh, chill. Chill, hey, sit. This is Honey. Hi, Honey. Hi. Oh, God. Hi, say hi to the camera. What are you so cute? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to do something. Well, guys, we're back. Uh, we're at Caitlin and Nick's house. Caitlin doesn't want me to vlog because she's lame. So I'm just going to bring you guys to my little shack where I'll be staying. You guys want to come too? Honey, you want to come? Oh, yeah. How's it go? Oh, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Oh, yeah. This right here is the NB Edits hangout place. It's perfect. All right. We got a pool table with all of my stuff on it, which, uh, well, Usually it's not this messy, so no I'm sorry. But you know, it's, yeah, no pool is gonna be played. Camera stuff, and come over here. We, obviously we got the, my headset charging. Nick's gaming, editing station, some freaking fish that I caught that I let him mount. Yep. Um, so some, nice some nice little stuff right here. Some uh, sponsors and stuff that he can flex up on. A mini fridge, let's see what's in the mini fridge. Oh yeah, Fr pickles. <laughs> Big pickle guy. No, yeah, actually, yeah. actually, I didn't have room upstairs. Oh so. my god, you're so you're hilarious. And we got a live scope right there. We got my live scope right here, and yeah, just a lot of other randomness. That's where I'm sleeping on a nice little futon. 
And then obviously I had to bring in the box, boys, to do a little bit of game. And so literally, I, we did this last night. I sit right here in game and scream, and Nick sits right there in games and scream. So we just like, yeah, it's kind of funny. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to kind of vlog the setup because I'm literally gonna be here for like basically the whole month of March and filming a lot of videos. So just thought I'd give you guys a little rundown. Um, today was a good day. I kind of already talked about it, but you know, we got open water walleyes. You can't freaking complain. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. Make sure to like this video and go check out Jackery. They're having that big event on the 17th that you guys don't want to miss. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you on the next one. <laughs> you were going to let a moan out. I was. I Dang it. Can you just let one out? No, no, it's just not the timing.